Hello folks, my name's Kieran. Approximately 20 years ago I uh, learnt how to use a program called Macromedia Flash. In the intervening years that uh, program has ceased to exist and now it's called Animate by Adobe. Uh, just for your information I'm running 1280 by 1024 screen size I'm duplicating these displays I, I did that using a Chrome uh, remote desktop in order to access the secondary screen and then uh, duplicate it so for anyone who's thinking about how to make these uh, YouTube videos uh, but yeah my focus is going to be on this uh, Adobe animate which I've downloaded today um, it's just a trial so I've only got seven days to try and get my head around this, which is why also I'm making these videos for myself. So please um, forgive the squeaky chair that I'm sat on and uh, please uh, understand that I'm actually doing this while videoing it. So uh, it might be better for you to just skip through it and see the important parts you want to see. I will tell you that I have previously tried to download this, but it turned out that my computer wasn't the computer I was using at the time wasn't high performance enough and so that's why I thought it was important to show you about the screen resolution and stuff because that was the reason it failed previously plus something to do with the processor it wasn't yeah you know, I'm not a techie guy but uh, the support explained that basically <laughs> son your computer isn't up to scratch so um, yeah hopefully it works for you right so I'm waiting for it to launch as you can see, I have already done a tutorial. That was this one. So let's let's start with that again. I might be able to do it quick enough to keep you engaged. Right, this is saying no, I did I did nothing and it's come coming through to untitled one canvas. Okay, I'm gonna read it out as I go along. This might be useful for you if you if you run this on a second screen and are actually doing it on the the first screen. Right, introduction. In this tutorial, we will create a simple animation by assembling the assets. You will learn the concepts of assets and assets panel. Damn you. There you go. It's done. Ah, uh, did you see that? Uh, it disappeared. Oh, that's frustrating. Huh. How strange. How strange. Huh. Let's see now if I can get it back now. Huh. Uh, it, it, I just did it. I just went through it once. Hit, hit and miss. Okay, that's a bit better, but I've lost it at a later stage. Okay, here we go. Add background. Type sky in the search box up here on the top left. Sky. Enter. Assets panel. Expand the static, which is down here on the right. Uh, statics panel. So... Uh, by clicking on it. Number three, drag and drop the grey sky asset onto the stage as shown in the above video. Doesn't seem too strict about where I'm dragging that. Next, set the stage to fit the window. So up here in the blue circle, click on the zoom drop down and change to fit in window. Next, 
make sure the background image is properly aligned on the stage by dragging it. That looks okay. Next. Now, add animated asset. So, clear the search box of the assets panel and type PIG. Expand the animated section, which is here. Drag and drop the running pig asset onto the stage. Move the asset so that it is just above the ground level on top of the background image, which it kind of is. Now, preview the animation by clicking up here in this circle. So that's the preview the animation. It's doing all this stuff by itself. I'm expecting it to launch Chrome. While we're here waiting, I'm just going to show you the thing up here. That's where I used Chrome Remote Desktop in order to adjust the screen resolution for the secondary screen. That looks great, doesn't it? Lovely. So, back to animate. Preview animation. Done. Well done. Congratulations on completing the simple assemble tutorial. That was easy, wasn't it? Well, it was now that I did it for the second time. Click on the next tutorial if you would like to add motion to these assets. In this tutorial, we will build on top of the first part and learn how to add motion using tween. Set the stage size. We are going to need some space outside the stage. Set st stage size to 50%. Next, set the initial asset position. Number one, make sure the playhead is on the first frame in the timeline. So this is the timeline, here we go, timeline. And the first frame must be this one. I guess here, clicking on the gray. Make sure the playhead is on the first frame as it's showing in the animation now. Oh, no, 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 that was fine. That's where it was there. On the animation up here, it's showing you he clicks on up there, not on the grey. Okay, so move the asset on the stage and place it just to the left. So I clicked on the asset and I'm moving it using my direction cursors. So direction buttons, whatever we're calling them. To the left of the screen. I'm going to leave it just poking out on the left so I can see his hat and the and the paw of the trotter trotter of the pig. Now place it just to the left of the stage. This will be the initial position on the asset before we start moving it. Okay. Now create keyframe. Go to and pick the last frame of the running pig layer. Uh, now this is important, this is what I was doing previously. So it's the upper one of these two grey ones, not this area above it. Not that area. Add the keyframe there by clicking Insert Keyframe Button. So this one is what we're calling the Insert Keyframe Button. Although it actually says Auto Insert Keyframe. So well, I'm going to click it nonetheless. Nonetheless and Next. Now I'm going to move the asset. Go back to the first frame of running pig layer and click on the tween icon. Then go to click on the last frame of the same layer and move the asset to the right just outside the stage. <sighs> okay, so that appears to be the button they're using in that video, the double, double oblong. So I'm, I'm uh, clicking there. And now I'm going to the last frame of the same layer. And I'm moving that pig. This time I'm just going to cheat and move it with my mouse. 
so I can see the tail there and then I'm going to click next okay test animation we've done this previously click on the play button up here in the blue circle now let's make the asset move back to the original position sorry after I've tested it very good very happy with that okay so now next now I need to go on to the timeline and using that so click here on the timeline we are going to sorry create keyframe we are going to start a new motion so let's create a new keyframe next to the last frame in the layer click on the timeline panel sorry that's what I've just done number two click on the frame next to the last and click insert keyframe icon so click here on the one next to it careful what's he doing yeah click in there and then this one with the a button okay right now we need to flip asset direction if the asset has to run backwards its orientation also needs to change number one right click the asset on the stage and select transform flip horizontal option so right clicking and i'm choosing transform flip horizontal good stuff i can't see the tail there anymore so that must be the trotter okay now move asset to the origin we will now create a tween to move the asset sorry it's a bit Chinese English isn't it we will now create a tween to move the asset to the origin and how's he doing that keeping the playhead I'm looking at the animation now. okay keeping the playhead on the same frame as the last step which is where it is at the moment click on the classic tween button which was this one wasn't it yeah click on that then click on the 100th so i'm going to use this scroll bar to reveal 100th and now i'm going to click on the 100th uh-huh can't see it. No. Yeah, no, that's what he's saying. Okay. I grab my little piggy and move it across. Okay. Oh, look, that all auto filled there. Very good. Okay. Expand layer span. You would observe that the background image disappears after the first tween. Yes, it did, yeah. The background disappeared after we did the first tween. We need to extend the span of the background layer till the end of the animation span. Right-click on the hundredth frame, but on the bit below, grey sky. So I'm clicking below, grey sky layer, and select insert frame option. Sorry, where's that from? I'm clicking on it oh sorry right click right click on there and choose insert frame there you go insert frame jolly good next no yeah okay test animation Click play button to test the animation. Ah, fantastic. <laughs> Easily pleased. Uh, so listen, I don't know what all this stuff is here. And it's, it's not telling us about that yet either. So, that worked. Now, 
share the animation. Click on the share button, which is up here, top right, share button. Then on social share, choose the platform to share the following further instruction to share your animation on the chosen platform. Here it goes. Social share. <laughs> wow. You see, as I said, I've just reinstalled the computer, so I don't know that I've got a YouTube identity preloaded. I don't know how it's going to identify that, except that I did obviously use an email to sign up for this trial account, so maybe it's going to use that. Either way, let's stick with it. 30%. Okay, I'll probably fast forward this bit so we're not waiting, so don't be surprised if it jumps a bit. Wow, uh, that's amazing, if it's worked, I'll check back later. So this must have popped up in the meantime, media encoder, okay. Right, so uh, let's assume that that worked, now next. Congratulations on completing this tutorial. Fantastic. Would you like to keep this workspace? You can change it later from workspaces under the Windows menu, under Window menu. So where's the Window menu? Here we go, Window menu. You can change that. So I'll keep the workspace. Uh, it still won't let me click on the window, so let's do this one next then. Stalk carrying a baby. <laughs> 